Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this LibreOffice Calc tutorial, I'm going to be showing you about number formats. So, normally you can just type in numbers however you want inside of a program like LibreOffice. However, uh, sometimes you may want all of those numbers to be in a certain format, or in other words, you may want it when you type in the number 5 for it to show up with decimal places and a dollar sign or you may want it to automatically convert it into a percentage and add in the percent sign and that's what number formats do they take your raw data the uh, pure number that you type in and they format it uh, basically give it some extra structure to make it appear as a certain type of number like a money amount or a percentage or just a regular number or a date which is the four that you see here in uh, this LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet. So, um, for instance, currency is going to take this five that I've typed in and convert it to dollar sign five dot or decimal point and then the uh, the cents columns for uh, ten cents uh, yeah, ten, tens of cents and uh, single cents over there to the right past the uh, decimal point. But the way that you actually make a field like that is, well, you would select the field and over on the second toolbar that's there by default, you hit format as currency or control shift four on your keyboard. And that converts that single cell or your selected cells into a currency format type. Now, uh, one thing that you're probably wondering is what if you want it to be dealing with a currency that's not the US dollar? Um, maybe you are in a different region of the world or you just need a one-time use for a different currency. Well, if you select a cell and let's say you've got the raw numbers in it, you can right click it and go to format cells and this is where you get the heavy detailed possibilities for formatting a cells rather than just these defaults up here on the toolbar but you can go to currency and change the uh, change the currency format to another type such as the Vietnamese dong so I'll just go ahead select that there leave it by defaults by otherwise and now it's not 500 but it's 500 dong um, and that's all well and good now, just to quickly illustrate the other formats, which are here by defaults, uh, the four that are on the toolbar are probably the most common ones. If you want to do percentages, it's out of one whole one. So a percentage uh, where you type in the number one is actually 100%. So if I click format as percent or control shift five on my keyboard, it's going to convert that to 100%. So 0.10 or 0.1 is actually 10% and if I put in 10 that's a thousand percent with number uh, as, as far as I can tell basically uh, the number format is just the the standard way you have numbers typed into the field so it's just gonna show it as a raw number let's go ahead and try uh, 55 here and hit format as number and uh, it adds the decimal places in that particular case but beyond that it's pretty much the same. Now, one thing I do actually want to try here really quick is what happens if you type in uh, a dollar sign and then some numbers. And apparently, it removes the dollar sign. It formats it as a raw number. So if you knew anything about programming, it's like an integer or a double. Just raw number without any of the extra data, but uh, decimal points are allowed here. And then finally, for the date, you could type in something like Jan 1st. And, uh, well, it will automatically figure out in this case that it's supposed to be a date. Um, because LibreOffice Calc sometimes is smart about things. Let's see, uh, if we do 14, 12 in this field and then we hit format as date, I'm sure that's going to change it to something else. Maybe not because that's an impossible date, but what if I do 4 and 12? Uh, let's try one more time. 0 and 4 and maybe with a slash so with a slash it works but you can see that not every way of structuring a date may automatically convert there for you so do watch out for that uh, slashes are pretty standard for calculating dates but I do know that putting in something like March and then the uh, day of the month that does work and you can include years as well so for instance we could do 
uh, let's say May 5, 2015, and that's going to convert to this format over here. So this is a pretty quick introduction to number formats within LibreOffice Calc. If you're going to have a series of fields in a column or a row that all should look alike, using number formats is a good way to get consistency between your fields, and hopefully that helps you out. So I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. If this did help you out, consider donating to my Patreon, and I'll see you in my next video.